Asus has a history of making some of the best motherboards for immense overclocking, and if there's one motherboard that can let the 14900KS run wild, it's the ROG Maximus Z790 formula. By far the single greatest feature of the Z790 formula is the VRM design. It's an ultra-powerful 20 plus 1 plus 2 phase 105 amp design that uses high-quality capacitors that are rated to run at 10,000 hours. On top of that, what else makes the Z790 formula stand out from the rest is the hybrid chill VRM cooler that's perfect for both passive and active cooling. Usually, VRMs with a hybrid cooling system aren't that good unless you use a water loop to actively cool them. Thankfully, the hybrid chill system is excellent whether you actively cool the VRMs with a liquid coolant or not. Without any active cooling, the VRMs only heat up to 50 degrees Celsius and peak out at around 55 degrees Celsius with a Core i9-14900KS running at 6 GHz for an hour or more. When water-cooled, the same VRMs stay much cooler indefinitely and almost never even hit 50 degrees Celsius. The heat sinks on the entire motherboard are covered by a white shield that's perfect for any white build, especially if it has a custom water loop. Not only is the front of the board covered in white, the back also has heat sinks and a protective cover to prevent rear-ended damages and help with extra cooling. The black PCB with white heatsink covers makes the Z790 formula one of the most gorgeous motherboards ever. The aesthetics and VRMs of the Z790 formula are certainly impressive, but a motherboard is nothing without good connectivity. The rear I.O. is chock full of USB ports and every single one of them is running at USB 3.2 or faster speeds. Two of the three USB Type-C ports are Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is awesome to see. You also get a full array of audio jacks, including an optical SPDIF port, BIOS flash, and CMOS clear buttons. The motherboard also supports Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4, and the antenna has a new design as well. It doesn't need to be screwed in, you can simply push it in the antenna port and it will click on to the motherboard. Asus hasn't made many motherboards in their formula lineup, but I hope this changes soon, because there's some serious potential here. That being said, even though it's amazing, it's not perfect. There is a lack of PCIe slots, and generally the PCIe situation is a little messy. There are just two full-sized Gen 5x16 slots, and a single Gen 4x4 slot at the bottom. While I appreciate that there are 5 M2 slots, I highly doubt that anyone is going to put that many SSDs even in a high-end workstation. There is, however, another issue. The top M2 slot shares bandwidth with the second PCIe x16 slot. When the M2 slot has an SSD in it, the second PCIe x16 slot will be disabled and the top PCIe x16 slot will bifurcate to x8. This defeats the purpose of having those PCIe slots in the first place, and Asus needs to do some serious rework on correctly allotting the PCIe slots. Since almost all users only use a single GPU with two or three SSDs at max, this won't be a problem. A motherboard of this caliber needs multiple PCIe slots for expansion cards that professionals can take advantage of. Asus could have easily reduced one or two M2 slots and dedicated those lanes to expansion slots. For now, Asus mainly wants you to max out your CPU and stick to the plethora of USB ports on the back for connectivity. In conclusion, the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 formula isn't just for gaming. It's an all-rounder motherboard with a powerful VRM that stays cool no matter if it's actively or passively cooled. It's just the right choice for anyone looking to invest in an enthusiast board that allows extreme overclocking as well as having all the necessary connectivity for a professional-grade workstation. To sum up, what I like is the incredibly powerful VRM design, the Thunderbolt 4 support, the Wi-Fi 7 support, and the near-perfect rear I.O. 
On the downside, there are not enough PCIe slots, and PCIe lanes are heavily bifurcated. Ratings. VRM design, 9.75 out of 10. Features, 8.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 7.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.